Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to connect BitGet to Google Authenticator. In order to do this, you first have to launch your BitGet mobile application and then you need to tap on this square icon in the top left hand corner. After that, you need to tap on your profile in the top and then you will be landed on this user center page. Now over here, you need to tap on security and here you will be able to see the option of Google Authenticator. So if you tap on Google Authenticator, it will first ask you to download and install install Google Authenticator mobile application in your device. So in order to get it, you will have to launch your Google Play Store or App Store and in the search bar, you simply need to search for Google Authenticator. Now once you have found Google Authenticator application, you simply need to tap on the install button and after that you just have to install it. Then you will have to tap on the open button and after that you just have to log in into your account. Now once you have successfully logged in, you will have to come back to this page again and after that you will have to tap on next. On the next page, it will generate a 16 digit key for you. So you just have to copy that key. Then you need to go to your Google Authenticator app. There you will have to paste that key and then the six digit code will be generated in your Google Authenticator application. So you just have to copy that code from there. And then in the BitCat app, you just have to paste that code. After that, you will be able to see this type of prompt in front of you, which says that the Google Authenticator has successfully added an extra layer of security to your account. It simply means that you have successfully connected your BitGet account to Google Authenticator. I cannot show you the Google Authenticator method. It is because the Google Authenticator does not allow the screen recording, but I have shown you the steps. So you just have to follow those steps in order to connect it successfully. If the video was helpful, then don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.